The Clippers <laughs> franchise has been playing for 50 years. First as the Buffalo Braves, then the San Diego Clippers. And since the 84-85 season, they've called L.A. home. There have been in those 50 years 15 appearances in the NBA playoffs, and not once have they reached the conference finals. They came close five years ago, had a 3-1 lead on the Rockets, and couldn't close the deal, losing three straight games by double digits. On Friday night, they took the court in Orlando with a 3-1 lead over Denver. Could the Clippers seal the deal this time as both teams observing the anniversary of 9-11 and Kawhi Leonard trying to take the Clippers to the conference finals. And he's doing Kawhi stuff there. That's in the first quarter, second quarter, they came out with supreme focus. Actually, the third quarter, too, Shaq, yeah. until Paul Millsap went crazy. Man, he must have hands like Dr. J, who could just pick up the ball. Oh. Like, anyway, Shaq. <laughs> I'm amazed that they've never been oh. in the conference final. Yeah, that, that, Shaq, As a, that, that's an amazing stat. That is a, so the three of us together have more <laughs> conference finals than the whole franchise. I mean, that's, well, when we got one, we got more than them. Paul George for three <laughs> there, and then Paul George again. What you mean you're amazed? The Clippers, you ain't never got to the conference finals, the no. Spurs, Lakers, no. Rockets, no. You ain't going to never get there. Stop it. You can get uh, there one, one time. time. The, I'm not saying you can win it. They would lead by 16 in the first half, and then in the third quarter, oh, again, you mentioned Paul Millsap, 14 yeah. points oh. in the third quarter, Chuck. Yeah, Paul Millsap, my homeboy, made me look like an idiot on TV tonight. I'm not going to forgive you, Paul. Hey, Shaq, the Orlando Magic and the Hawks have made it to the conference finals. Kawhi Leonard for three. <laughs> and then Millsap again. Sacramento too, huh? And then yes. Jamal Murray would get it cooking a little bit. Yeah, you know, he started to get his feet up under him, started to get his... Yeah, uh, Joker and Ma Jamal bought him home. And Michael Porter oh. Jr. made a... He had a good, he had a good run in about a good six minute run. 13 to two quarter. bridge between the third and fourth quarters. Murray that. hits that three. Bank is open in the bubble. He didn't call that. Mm. Oh, man. Nikola Jokic for three, <sighs> 89, man, 88. The, They've got the lead. The on that three. <laughs> ah, one more. It's ah, Murray. Step you back. Step back. Ah. Capping a 27 oh, to 8 Denver run. I thought they were going to run away with it, but then. Well, watch Jokic. Jokic, right here. I thought they were running away with it, Ernie. 102 Boy. to 94. They are running away with it. Not quite, Ernie. Yeah, with three minutes to go, they were up eight, and then all of a sudden. Paul George. Paul oh, George does this. Oh. All right, four point game. And here is the only bucket of the game for Michael Porter Jr. It big, and it you is know what? huge. That was an awful shot, though. Nope, he said yes, sir. He needed the ball. He showed yeah. up. Oh, and a good oh. block. Now, and that, that was a good block by yes, Michael sir. Porter. That was huge. Coming at me. Blocking Zubats. And the Denver Nuggets, still alive, come from 16 back to beat the Clippers 111 to 105. The Clippers 0-6 all-time in conference semifinal closeout games. And uh, now this one stands 3-2. How about some post game? Yeah, I got the yak. Can you speak a little bit on the altercation with Marcus Morris? They started running their mouths a little bit. And kind of woke us up. So I know the word is, you know, we're soft and, you know, we're not going to let these guys come in and just push us around. Uh, when you have a seasoned veteran who has had enough and wasn't just going to sit there and take it, and he, he, he stood up, and I thought, his response to that situation really helped our team respond to that. When you hit that three-pointer, what's going through your mind in that moment? Yoke found me on the wing. Everybody know it wasn't the best shot selection, but some made me shoot it, so I shot it. It was a clutch shot, but um, you know, I'm just glad I could help my team. What you love about Michael is that it's you know whether it's just youthful inexperience or uh, not really understanding the magnitude of the situation. But he has supreme confidence. He has confidence in himself. We have confidence in him. Every time that kid shoots the ball, I think it's going in. I imagine you were busy, so at halftime, Charles Barkley said that you guys were already packed and you could go to, that, uh, to uh, Broncos practice tomorrow. <laughs> so I guess you'll go to practice in the bubble. Uh, as far as Charles Barkley, um, we're, not, we're not going home yet. We ain't gone fishing yet. Uh, we're going to live to play a game number six and, you know, 
try to stretch this series out and try to win it. Uh, I know everybody's excited about the Lakers playing the Clippers in the Western Conference Finals, but uh, we're hoping to have something to say about that. Well, give them credit. I thought they kept playing, and then I, I didn't think we played the same. Uh, I'll just put it that way. Um, I thought we started gambling way too much on defense. Uh, I thought we stopped moving the ball on offense. Uh, but give them some credit. I thought they hung in there and they just played tough. Uh, like, they're not going to go away. You got to know that. And um, so give them credit. They stayed in it. Nuggets in elimination games in these playoffs are 4 0 now. You know, they came back from 3 1 against Utah, knocked the Jazz out, and facing elimination tonight. They beat the Clippers 111-105. Second half, 57 points, 61% shooting, 9 out of 17 from deep for the Nuggets. Yeah, you know, I want to go back. You know, Reggie talked about it, man. I just got to give a lot of uh, credit to Paul Millsap. That team was dead in the water. Uh, looking for some kind of spark. Looking in that for point. some yeah. But it was weird, though. He never put Millsap back in the game. Yeah, played like, what, three minutes in the fourth quarter? Yeah, and I was like, but uh, so but all, all the credit to this game go to Paul Millsap for giving them energy. Uh, but then, obviously, Joker and Jamal bought the game home. But you just got to give Paul Millsap and credit. Because they were down 12, 14 points, and he goes, he scored 12 points in the third quarter. To get 14 in the 14. third. 14 in the third, and that got him back in the game. And then the one thing that I always say is, yo, man, the other team got NBA players, too. And once Paul got them back <clears> in the game, Joker and Jamal did their thing, and it was a wrap. I'm going to go opposite. The Clippers lost this game. I, well, I agree focus. with that. Yeah, they lost focus. They stopped playing. They got cute. Started talking. They couldn't back it up. And then the other team got hot. You know, you have to t – you know, I know everybody has this scheme, but sometimes you have to break the scheme. Like, if they're hitting three or four threes in a row, sometimes you got to run them off the line. Run them off that gun line, boss. You know, they <laughs> they didn't do that, and and now we got to go to a game six. Hey, what and you got to do, Shaq? You got to run them off that gun line, boss. <laughs> <clears throat> but now, so you, you know, I don't like you know talking about ifs or anything. But what if the Clippers don't play well in game six? Now you're gonna have a game seven. So, you know, you got to take care of business. You know, Clippers. You can't uh, you, you can't disrespect other NBA teams uh, because the worst teams in the NBA got a couple of really good players. Like I say, they were disrespected, the, the, the Nuggets in the second half. Then Paul Millsap went crazy. And then the two All-Stars, Jamal and Joker, dominated the fourth quarter.